Good morning everyone and welcome to another video. So today's video, as you can tell by the title, is a waffle recipe which I've never tried before so I thought I'd test it out and see how good it is. It looks really easy so I thought why not try this one because it's always good to have an easy recipe that you can just go back to all the time. I've got my waffle machine down and I'm just going to preheat it because it takes a while to heat up. The recipe that I'm using is just on Pinterest. I typed in buttermilk waffles because I wanted to try making them with buttermilk. So here is the picture that comes up. All this recipe needs is flour, baking powder, baking soda, salt, buttermilk, egg, a bit of butter, vanilla and a pinch of cinnamon if you want to. So that is all. Like look at the tiny list of ingredients. I think that's so good. And then this is the steps to do it so it's just like three steps <laughs> it says whisk dry ingredients add wet ingredients to dry ingredients until just combined and then put them in the waffle until golden i mean the waffle maker until golden so i'm gonna make these but first i gotta do the buttermilk and um i don't have like packaged buttermilk so i'm gonna make it myself i'm going to use two tablespoons of vinegar and one cup of milk so that's what i'm gonna do right now I don't have any lemon juice, I've only got vinegar, this like brown vinegar, <laughs> which I've tried before and it works, so let's go, let's do this. So, two tablespoons of this, one. But now that the buttermilk is doing its thing, I'm going to get all the dry ingredients ready. So that means I need to get one cup of flour, I need half a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda and then Elise is going to put the baking powder in so it's one teaspoon of baking powder so do you want to add that for me darling yeah. oh well done good girl it's gonna mix it out. um not yet darling it's half a spoon of salt so we've got this one past me this is full see and then add that can I mix it now yeah so, if you whisk your dry ingredients that you haven't sieved with a whisk, that means all of the lumps will come out. It's like you're sieving it, but it's a cheat. <laughs> So this has thickened a little bit, not loads. And then we can put one teaspoon of vanilla. Lovely. Oh, it's not not yet. Yeah. Add one eggy. Yeah, add one here. egg. So we've got one egg, some vanilla, and the buttermilk in here. And I'm just gonna whisk, whisk that together. Ready? Oh, oh I do. Go on then, here yeah. Now I'm just gonna add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients. <gasps> dry so ingredients. Add that like that. <gasps> can I mix that? One? Um, let mommy do it first, and then you can have a go, okay? And then I'm just gonna whisk it all up. Wow. Oh, massive! Wow! Nice and soft, mommy. Mm -hmm. It's coming down again. Beautiful. Wow! It's really cool. Cool. I'm just going to add two tablespoons of butter. Can you see all those bubbles? That is the um, vinegar reacting with the bicarbonate of soda. How crazy is that? And I'm also going to add cinnamon because I love cinnamon. So I've got some cinnamon, so I'm just going to add this. Oh, it's very cold downstairs too. Oh, is it? Yes. Oh my goodness. I have a mix it them for a few minutes and then I'm going to check on them so while they're cooking I'm just going to chop up a couple of bananas 
and get the Nutella all nice and melted and yeah, that's it. Time to check on the waffles. So I think the waffles are done. I'm going to use a wire rack because this makes them not soggy. If you put them on like a flat plate, they'll go soggy. So every time I'm making pancakes or waffles or anything like that, I always put them on a wire rack. Even toast, I do it with. So yeah, let's do that. a taste test and I've cut them in half I want one of them and it's very like I don't know what, how to explain it but it's very like squishy it's not hard it's not like crispy on the outside it's very squid like malleable I don't know if that's the right word but anyway I'm gonna have a taste Tastes like scrambled egg or omelette. <laughs> How weird. Mommy. No. But it's not. They're not great. Mommy, I don't know. I've put loads of um, syrup and Nutella on just so it's a little bit sweet because there's no sugar in them so they're not sweet at all like they just taste like egg I don't know it's weird but apparently they're life-changing buttermilk waffles yeah. no I don't think so any no way it's not okay so <laughs> no it's not so I'm going to go and eat these with my cup of coffee uh, because I'm so tired still and yeah, I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!